episode 2,894 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. People hire me for No BS Job Search Coaching and Career Advice globally because I make the process of finding work much, much easier. I do that in a number of ways. The simplest way to find out more is by visiting jobsearch.community, where I have all my video courses, books, and guides they're available for you. I have a few there that are free. Most is about uh, behind the paywall where I've priced most things very inexpensively. No matter what tier of service you order me uh, order from, you get access to all my video courses, books, and guides. And I'll just simply say it's inexpensive. Like $49 is my lowest tier. You get access to everything and can ask me questions through the site. For $79, you get all of that. Plus, plus you can get me on a couple of Zoom calls a month. And then in a more expensive tier, I provide everything I've mentioned. Plus, we do individual or group coaching. Now, with that out of the way, I'll just say today's show is about removing some of the awkwardness out of networking and how to do that. Please share it on LinkedIn help other people by doing that. And I'll be back in just one moment. A person wrote to me recently, excuse me if I read it off the screen. I just want to make sure I get the question correct. It is actually a multi-part question. I'm going to deal with the question, uh, the questions that have been asked in multiple videos. So here's the first one. Um, Jeff, you provide practical advice that's helpful. Um, What would help job hunters is how to improve networking to former associates friends of friends, etc. So this isn't about going to a networking group meeting. It's about how to reach out to your past uh, and to reconnect. And he also goes on later to ask, how does that differ when you're working versus when you're not working? To me, it really makes no difference. But I understand that there's a degree of urgency when they're when you're out of work or you're aggressively looking for work versus when that isn't going on. But the concept is pretty universal. Networking is not about calling someone up and say, Do you know about a job? Do you know about a job? Come on, come on, tell me, tell me. Do you know about a job? Is your firm hiring? Who do I call? Can I mention your name? It's not about that. It's about developing a space in people's mind when people think about you or think about an experience that you have and want to refer you. So part of the question is, how do you do this? And there are many different ways to do it. The occasional email, even if done as a bulk email to people in your past, uh, works wonders. Uh, Messages through LinkedIn to people in your past. Now, again, if you have an email address, I I always encourage people to reach out. you know, I don't know what the correct timeline is for being able to just call someone up out of the blue versus dropping them a note and then following up with a call. But when all is said and done, what you want to do is just reach out to someone and say, let's say with a former employee, a former colleague, you call up someone and say, hi, remember me? It's Jeff Altman. It's got to be a hundred years. And I was thinking about you this weekend and thought I would just give you a call or send you an email and try and reconnect with you. Hope you're well. Uh, let me tell you what's going on with me um, and what's going on with you these days. Um, and it can be just as casual as that because what networking is really about, as I said, is creating the connection with another person. You know, it's a different name for branding where you're positioning yourself in someone's mind as being someone that they should think about at certain times. Now, you can talk about what you've been doing in recent times professionally. You can talk about your family. You don't have to say the dreaded J word, you know, job, as in looking for a job. All you have to do is connect with another person. Um, You can you know, when asked further or follow-up questions, you can say, yeah, I've been looking for another job recently. I'm kind of frustrated where I am. Um, I've been doing such as, you know, if you happen to hear about something, it'd be great, but it's not why I'm reaching out to you. Um, and you can be that casual about it and, you know, not f- uh, create a forced situation where awkwardness can occur. 
See, it's not about dealing with awkwardness. It's by putting someone in a position where they're relaxed and at ease and willing to talk with you. And there's no awkwardness that's ever going to occur. Now, if there was awkwardness in your previous relationship back then, it's just going to resume where you are now. But assuming you had a decent relationship with this person and not a lot of time has gone by, it's just going to pick up where it was. Now, in the cases where you're dealing with someone you haven't spoken to in years, that same introduction also occurs, but you have to go more slowly. Uh, you know, like any new relationship or resumed relationship, um, you know, you can't just rush into it in any way. You have to give them space for uh, reconnecting with you as well, because although you've thought about it for a long time, they're the ones that are surprised. So patience, ease. It's kind of like in dating. You don't want to be seen as a stalker. You want to be seen as someone who's genuinely interested in the other person um, before you move in um, and, and try and develop a close relationship. So uh, that's my simplest advice for how to pick up uh, with people from your past and to involve them in your networking for your next position or for positions in the future. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, visit jobsearch.community. There's a lot more there that will help you. In the meantime, I'll be back with more tomorrow. Have a terrific day and be great.